Welcome to Module 3, Our Journey Within, Continues. Beyond the surface of our daily lives, a rich tapestry of emotions and thoughts influences every step we take. These unseen forces shape our reactions, decisions, and ultimately our very lives. But what exactly are these emotions and thoughts? How do they relate to each other and how do they shape our self-awareness? They are our immediate responses to the world around us, instinctive and profound. Thoughts, on the other hand, are like the brush strokes that give shape and meaning to these colors. They are the interpretations we make about our environment and experiences. Understanding this intricate dance between our emotions and thoughts is crucial to self-awareness. It allows us to observe without judgment the interplay of our inner world. Today, we delve into the fascinating world that lies within us, exploring the intricate dance between our emotions, our thoughts, and our self-awareness. Emotions are our body's physiological response to the world around us. They're immediate, powerful, and often instinctive. Thoughts, on the other hand, are the interpretations we make about our environment and experiences. Today, we will delve deeper into this intricate dance between our emotions and thoughts. Emotional intelligence at its core is about understanding the dialogue between our emotions and thoughts. It begins with recognizing and accepting our emotional responses, be it joy, sadness, fear, or anger. These emotions are not just random reactions, they're our body's authentic response to the world around us. But emotions don't exist in a vacuum. They're intertwined with our thoughts, shaping them and being shaped by them. Let's say you're feeling anxious. That emotion didn't just appear out of nowhere, it's likely linked to a thought or belief, maybe something like, I'm not good enough or, I can't handle this. Emotional intelligence helps us understand these connections. It enables us to trace our emotions back to their root thoughts, giving us a clearer understanding of why we feel the way we do. It's like having a map to navigate the complex terrain of our inner world. Moreover, emotional intelligence isn't just about understanding ourselves. It also equips us to empathize with others, to understand their emotions and the thoughts behind them. This enhances our relationships, our communication, and our ability to navigate social situations. But intelligence isn't a destination you reach, it's a journey of self-discovery and self-awareness. It's about learning to navigate your emotions and thoughts with compassion and understanding rather than judgment or avoidance. Emotional intelligence is the bridge between recognizing our emotions and understanding the thoughts that they trigger. It's about making sense of how we feel and why. With these insightful words, it becomes clear that the journey of emotional intelligence is one of deep self-understanding. It's a journey that allows us to connect with our authentic selves and navigate our lives with greater self-awareness and compassion. Understanding this relationship is key to self-awareness. It allows us to observe our inner world without judgment, acknowledging our feelings and the thoughts they spark. So, let's embark on a journey of mindfulness meditation. Sit close your eyes and take a deep breath in and out. As you breathe, allow your attention to settle into the rhythm of your breath, the rise and fall of your chest, the sensation of air flowing in and out of your nostrils. Gently shift your focus to your emotions. Are you feeling calm, anxious, excited, or perhaps a mix of different emotions? Just notice them without trying to change anything. Our emotions are not good or bad, they simply are. They're a part of our human experience and each one, no matter how pleasant or unpleasant, has something to teach us. As we sit quietly, observing our emotions, it's natural for thoughts to arise. You might find yourself thinking about a past event, planning for the future, or interpreting the emotion you're feeling. This is completely normal. Remember, our thoughts are simply interpretations we make about our environment and experiences. When a thought arises, simply notice it. There's no need to get caught up in the story it's telling, just observe it, as you would a cloud passing in the sky. Notice how your emotions might shift as different thoughts come and go. When you're ready, gently bring your attention back to your breath. Take one last deep breath in and out. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes. Start journaling about this experience. Reflect on these prompts. What emotions did you notice during the meditation? Were they constant or did they fluctuate? Was there one emotion that seemed more dominant than the others? What thoughts or memories surfaced as you acknowledged these emotions? How did these thoughts influence your emotions and vice versa? And finally, how did it feel to observe your emotions and thoughts without judgment? Did it feel different from your usual way of relating to your thoughts and emotions? Remember there's no right or wrong answer. This is your personal journey of self-discovery, and every observation, every insight is a step closer to understanding yourself on a deeper level. 
Meditation and journaling are powerful tools for self-awareness. They allow us to explore our inner world in a mindful, non-judgmental way, providing us with valuable insights into our emotions and thoughts. So, let's continue this journey of self-discovery, one breath, one thought at a time. And now as we close this mindfulness session, I encourage you to carry this sense of awareness into your day. Observe your emotions and thoughts as they come and go, and remember, you are not your thoughts, you are the observer. Now take a moment to journal about this experience. Exploring our emotions and thoughts through mindfulness allows us to understand ourselves on a deeper level. This understanding is a powerful tool for personal growth and emotional intelligence. Today we've taken another step on this journey, diving into the intricate relationship between our emotions and thoughts. We've learned that emotions are our body's immediate responses to our surroundings. They are raw, visceral, and often instinctive. On the other hand, thoughts are the interpretations we form about our experiences and the world around us. They are the stories we tell ourselves, the narratives we construct. These two elements, emotions and thoughts, are intertwined, each influencing the other. Our emotions can trigger thoughts while our thoughts can evoke emotions. Recognizing this dynamic interplay is an essential aspect of self-awareness and emotional intelligence. We also discovered how mindfulness practices like meditation and journaling can help us navigate this complex relationship. Through mindfulness, we can observe our emotions and thoughts without judgment, allowing them to exist as they are. This non-judgmental observation is a significant step towards understanding our inner world. Remember the journaling prompts we shared? They're a great starting point for exploring your emotions and thoughts. Reflect on your meditation experience and don't shy away from digging deeper into what surfaced during that quiet time. As we continue on this journey, I encourage you to stay curious. Keep exploring your inner landscape, and don't be afraid to dive deep. The more familiar we become with our emotions and thoughts, the better we can navigate our lives with awareness, compassion, and understanding. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of our inner landscape. The journey of self-awareness is a continuous one, filled with insights, revelations, and moments of profound understanding. Remember, the path to knowing ourselves is through understanding the emotions and thoughts that shape our world. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep growing. Stay tuned for Module 4, where we develop our understanding of recognizing patterns in behaviors.